This might be one of the most fleshed out early access games I've ever played. When playing Paco 2, it feels like a full game until you want to play more levels. Even the aesthetic is nailed down throughout the whole game. In Paco 2, you're a getaway car driver. You pick up people who are waiting for a ride after a heist and you must deliver them to their destination for cold hard cash. Of course, once you pick up your first group, the police are on to you and they do not relent as you move from one job to the next. You continue to pick up as many jobs as you can until you busted or escape. My best so far is six jobs before the car explodes. I have escaped a few times, but you still have to make it to the tunnels. Like I said, the mechanics are really well fleshed out here. It feels like the developers sat around actually playing the game and coming up with something that is fun. Forget the heists, forget the cops, forget the design of the game. If I was just driving this car around on an empty screen, it would still be fun to play. They say Paco 2 has been in the works for quite a while, and I believe them. I would assume they were tweaking the mechanics until they felt like it was actually worth playing without the content. I really wish more games came out in this state for early access. It is ideal. The driving is very loose on the sedan, which is great. You'll have to break around corners, and when you start to get good at it, you'll make some pretty incredible turns that makes you feel like a real getaway driver. Threading that opening between two cop cars and coming out clean to deliver the crew to the drop-off is exhilarating. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten a chance to try all the cars. They're kind of expensive. And it is a little bit of a grind, but a grind I'm okay with. If you escape, you'll get more money at the end, so try and escape. I first decided to spend money on upgrades. There are seven cars and three ways to upgrade them. The bulls are relentless though. As you complete jobs, they'll start sending more after you. At a certain point, I had a helicopter after me. The cops have to drive on the same system as you, so they're crashing and sliding into everything. Make a quick turn and they'll slide right into a building and you'll have a slight reprieve as you pick up your next job. This leads to situations that are just great. Are the cops perfect? No. And the game is a hundred percent better for it. You'll have some defense against them with a turbo and the ability to shoot. The shooting is difficult to concentrate on while you try and drive to the next destination. Often I just focus on driving. I think fancy driving is more important than trying to shoot the cops. This is probably a difficult request, but where is the co-op? One person drives and the other person shoots. Then it's like a team of getaway people. I'm, I'm not sure how they're going to fit all the people in the car when you pick up people. It's like a clown car. I, I don't know. That's not, that's not my job. The only level that Paco 2 has so far is just the one, but it's, it's very large. There are 36 different pickups and several drop-off locations. They're all spread out a bit, so the map feels pretty good. There will be a bit of driving between each location. I started to memorize parts of the map and that absolutely was helping me progress further into the game. I also was finding my own shortcuts through the map. It's a lot of fun. This is one part the developers are really going to have to focus on. My expectations for future levels is really high. I expect them to be just as large and well thought out. I think it's going to be a difficult task. Does Paco 2 have potential? Absolutely yes. I'm pretty sure you've guessed how I feel by now, because it's like I've spoken a love letter about the game. All of this is based on not having played the first Paco though, okay? I cannot wait for more content in this game that oozes so much potential. They expect the game to be in early access for four to nine months, and I, I cannot wait. Thanks for watching, and if you like driving, I put up a link to my sim racing video. Trust me, it's pretty good.